Hello, y'all. So today we have Zach Berg from the University of Nebraska Medical Center College of Dentistry. Zach, thank you for joining us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. And so um, let's go ahead and start off. Uh, if you can, please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So basically, where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you take a year off? All right. So uh, I'm originally from Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, I went to uh, school up in Brookings, South Dakota, which is five hours east. Um, majored in uh, human bio and then minored in chemistry and um, ended up kind of throwing the minor and to the side because realized it was maybe a little too much that I could handle. Um, what I ended up doing was I went straight from undergrad to dental school and it was, uh, it was a, I mean, I wish sometimes that you, you have that perspective once you're here that you're like, okay, maybe I should have taken a year off and really got gathered everything, put it all together and then applied. But, uh, most of the time, most of the kids in our class anyways are, uh, I'd say I'm kind of a, a special case. There's, there's probably 10 or 15 of us who came straight in, but, uh, for those older viewers, I hope they don't feel discouraged in the fact that like, oh, I've taken a few years off. It's going to be different. Um, I'd say the average age of our class is 27, 28 years old. So it's, uh, I'm making a lot of friends who are a little bit older than me, but, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think that's, that's like starting to be the new norm almost, you know, I think that, mm -hmm. They said like, I want to say like 60 or 70% of my classmates did a master's program or took a year off. So, so yeah, all the viewers out there, like Zach said, if you are a little bit older, uh, it really does not matter. <laughs> Come to do mm -hmm. you Yeah, are, not at all. Definitely, definitely. And so uh, DAT, you know, people always have questions about the DAT. And so what did you find to be like your top resource or your top, or what would be your top tip to a pre dentist about to take the DAT? So I, uh, I started researching the DAT way too early and started getting anxiety about it way too early. Um, I watched videos, I tried figuring out everything, and you're not going to know everything. It's, that's probably my biggest tip. It's, it's kind of a marathon, not a sprint, and um, especially the studying process for it. I use DAT Bootcamp and DAT Destroyer. I know a lot of my friends did that, uh, very similar software to boot camp was DAT uh or crack the dap mm -hmm. and it was uh it was kind of up in the air between those two DAT boot camp had uh Mike's videos I ended up actually talking to Mike after the process because I wanted to just thank him he is my savior he he did an amazing job that's awesome okay awesome awesome and so did you ever do any type of like pre dental program at your school in order to kind of like show face and show them that you're interested or does your school have anything like that? So my undergrad did have a uh, pre-pro club. So it was all the pre-professionals and that was established years ago. So trying to step out, I tried to do a pre, like an actual pre dent but they wanted to keep it in the realm of all pre-pro because they viewed it as we deal with all healthcare professionals. But, um, um, I know UNL, the undergrad here in Nebraska, actually, they do have the pre dent program, and we actually every once in a while have them come to the school, and we'll kind of do small things. We'll do um, show them simple restorations, let them drill on teeth, and um, that's always fun, and it really gets them in the mindset of what a dental student is. Right, right. Awesome, awesome. And so... So you applied to school and you got your interview. And so can you kind of walk us through how your interview day actually went? Yeah, so uh, UNMC is a very small school as some people probably already know. And um, so there's only 50 kids in our school. And so they usually like to keep the interviews very, or I guess 50 kids in our class, I should say, okay. but they like to keep, uh, the interview is very small, personal, and that's really what they kind of stand for is like, it's a very personal education. And um, so you walk in and they already know who you are. That's, that was one thing, like they hand you your name tag. You don't even have to tell them who you are. They, they know who you are. When well, you so they like know your face. Like, yeah, they are like, there's staff here who they are phenomenal. Like you call the, 
call and in the first five minutes of you talking, they can tell by the, your voice who you are and it's, it's, it's amazing. But um, so anyways, you walk in the door and they hand you your name tag and you go up and you sit in the lobby or the waiting room for the clinic. And um, you get talking to a few of the people in charge and they'll take you down to um, one of the conference rooms and the dean will come in and she will give the spiel about like the mission statement of the school and things like that. And this is when nerves start kicking in for anyone who's watching. It's you're actually there, you're meeting the higher ups and it's, it's nerve wracking. But um, from there you do either for our school, they changed it up for our class. And I believe, believe they're still doing the same thing, but our class, they split up our group into four and three because they think we had seven in our group. And um, half went on a tour, the other half started the interview process. And the interview was, um, it was a little different than the rest of the schools. It was very personal. It was, the questions they asked, it wasn't really actual questions. They give you situation base and they give you a minute to read the situation, a minute to, um, to respond and how you'd respond to that situation. And these little segments were 20 minutes long, so it left a lot of open space for them getting to know you. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a lot of dental school questions. It was wanting to know you on a personal level, um, get to know your family, just see how you talked about the people who you looked up to and things like that. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so um, I wanna ask you another quick question. So 50 classmates, like how does that, how do you feel about that? Like, do you, do you prefer it or do you kind of wish sometimes that you had a bigger class? Um, I love it. It was, I was a little nervous because I, you get used to these 200, 300 person lecture halls in undergrad where you can go and sit in class and you can be present, but you don't ever have to say anything. You don't have to, you never talk to the professors. And I got so used to that, that I was a little nervous coming in because I'm like, okay, now I have to really interact all the time no matter if it's a good day, bad day, you have to be interacting. And right. I think the teachers understand that. And um, they, they're amazing. It gives them the ability to be amazing teachers and truly dive into your small class. They, we had one teacher, our anatomy professor, who she could tell some kids were struggling. And she's like, okay, we're going to open this up and we're going to figure out what people need to succeed she ended up actually making an instagram page where she posts questions questions uh pictures of anatomical structures where like pictures things like that and um so she they actually care and it gives them the ability to really dive in get to know us get to know when we're having good days bad days and you get to know the kids so well it's mm -hmm. You get, I can tell you everyone's name, where they're from, and it's, I wouldn't trade it for the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so, so you are now in your first year. And so can you kind of walk us through what it's like to be a first year at Nebraska? So like, uh, what, are your, what are your classes like? Uh, do you all have any type of clinical experiences? Um, do you pick up a handpiece yet? Like, can you just kind of go through all of that for us? Mm -hmm. So actually the first day, they had us, I don't even know the name, little blocks with the designs that you can drill yeah, in. Uh, I know what you're talking, yeah, like a, a, a drill. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, yeah, a, little, so, it's like a little square, you like go deep and you see like yellow, mm -hmm. red, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, so they have different to see, kind of teach depth, but the first day they had us, first class, first day, dental materials, they had us pick up a handpiece. Hmm. And that was when I was like, okay, you, it gives me chills because it, you wait for it for so long and it um it uh it was amazing so the first day they had us pick up the drill and from there on out it slowed down a little bit but they wanted us to have the excitement and so we went from there the first semester was very very tough and it was it wasn't like they tossed you in though they kind of slowed started slow they understood that you're gonna be nervous and that first week we took a quiz and it was terrible mm -hmm. it was everyone did bad because we were all so nervous and they're like okay now we now you see why nerves can't hinder what right. um so you 
first week, we had dental materials, we had dental anatomy, we had human anatomy, we had histology. Um, what else class am I, is escaping me? Anyways, so we start normally at around 9, 10 a.m. and then we go till four. Some of the days we'd have labs that would be cut short, so you'd get out a few hours early. Um, you'd have teachers have to change things. It's a very easy with 50 kids to change classes around and move things around. So um, it was a very fluid schedule, but for the most part, you'd start at 9 a.m. and you'd end at uh, around four. Hmm. Okay, okay. And are you able to like shadow right now or, or assist? Um, no, at this point we can we I mean if you get really buddy buddy with the D3 or D4 I'm sure you could go up there and assist but um you start assisting your D2 year. So this summer we'll have our really tough semester and then um start of D2 year is when you start assisting, you start uh kind of learning the way the clinic works and that's when they toss you into that ring but for D1 year they kind of keep you downstairs and uh keep you with some of the basic sciences but they do a good job of tossing in dental classes and things like that okay okay and so um, I'm asking every uh, every student from the dental school is the same question what do you find to be unique about your school and especially I mean I know that you went on a couple of interviews so you were able to kind of see a bunch of different dental schools so like what would you say is unique about Nebraska so yeah I interviewed at way too many schools I guess we talked about this so I'll let the whole audience know um, I was out of state I was from South Dakota and we don't have dental school so I had to uh, what I thought interview all over because I didn't know I just needed one person to pick me and uh, get me in and um, after those first few months you what I will say to pre dents is to be confident in who you are and be confident in your application because you might say, oh, I'm just like the person next to me who's applying, so I need to apply to 800 schools. Actually, I applied to like 12, which was way too many. And those first few months, you start seeing these interviews come in, and you're like, okay, I can actually do this. They're actually interested in me. So be confident in your, um, your application. But anyways, so they, I would say the interview process and what UNMC has to offer the most is like what I said is they're so personable. Mm -hmm. um, there's a guy by the name of Dr. Vote who you guys may come in contact with when you guys are going through the interview process. He's the most personable down to earth human you will ever meet. And he, you wonder, you start to wonder if they just give these spiels to everyone, but he literally can come down to all classes and give a, have a full conversation with you about your family and who you are and where you're from. He loves sports and there's, he's very personal and the whole school is. Um, and I think that's one thing that really made UNMC stand out when I made my decision. Mm, awesome. Awesome. Okay. And so uh, as for the last question uh, of the interview, if you were able to go back in time and talk to yourself while you're going uh, through the application cycle, What's one piece of advice that you would give yourself? Um, I think I would say to uh, really enjoy the process. I think you spend undergrad wishing you weren't there and you were already in dental school and you, you kind of wish away time. And I'd say really appreciate the time in undergrad, the friends you make, things like that, because it, it goes by fast. And I couldn't wait to get to dental school. And here I am, I'm already almost done with my first year. And it's, it goes by fast. So just really appreciate the time spent and what you're doing. And yeah, awesome. that's it. Awesome, awesome. Zach, thank you so much for uh, talking to us today. If any of our viewers have any questions, what's the best way that they can like reach out and contact you? Um, I think either Instagram or email or really any of them. I, uh, do you put the contact information yeah, I'll, down? Yeah, I'll put all the information in the, okay. uh, in the description box, definitely. Yeah, so uh, email, Instagram, any of those, probably email. I check those every day. So email would probably be the best way to do it.
Awesome, awesome. Okay. And um, so like I said, Zach, you know, from the from the future DDS family, we want to say thank you so much for um, speaking with us today. We know your time is extremely valuable, so we, we definitely do appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit, uh, excuse me, <laughs> hit the subscribe button below. Um, and if you also have a question for us over here at Future DDS, you can always leave us a comment or a DM at underscore Future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, see y'all later.